When we first start learning how to make money online, one of the biggest immediate challenges that we come up against is information overload. There's so much stuff about how to build online businesses, like how to build different income streams, different business models, there's all these different ideas, and it's so difficult to know where to start. So my intention in this video is to give a bit of an overview of the different types of options that are available, uh, some of the biggest reasons that people succeed or people fail, and how to avoid the ones where people fail, and really just give a bit of an idea of where to put your attention if you do want to start taking steps and making progress and learning how to make money online. Because this is a journey that I started in September 2016, so at this point I've got fair amount of experience, I've done talks around the world, I've got two and a half thousand people in my private community that I support regularly every single day in building online businesses in different paths and so this is something that I'm really passionate about and I really really love to give back and empower people to really take, take those steps and start creating change in their lives. Okay, so my outcome for you at the end of this video is to have a bit of a clear idea of what's available, what's right for you, and how you can make a start yourself and start learning how to make money online. All right, so first thing worth pointing out is some of the different business models that people typically consider. And something that's really important to, to figure out is what is it that you're looking to create? You know, what's the vision of the future that you're looking to step into? Because a lot of people will, for example, start building a business and then they'll very quickly realize that the business model they've chosen doesn't actually allow them or enable them to, to live the type of life they want to live. So if one of your goals, for example, with building an online business is to create time and financial freedom, then a model like consultancy or agency might not be the right sort of thing for you. Because with a consultancy type business where let's say you're, you know, you're mentoring people, you're a coach or something like that, or you're advising other business owners on, I don't know, marketing or something, um, or an agency model, maybe you're doing social media for clients to help them scale their businesses, or maybe you're looking to offer um, online services, web services or something like that. With those kind of models, you, you are servicing clients, you're providing a service to clients and obviously to provide that service takes time or to be a consultant, to actually consult people one-on-one. -on -one. You know, you're gonna get on calls with them, or you know, face-to-face -face might be um, webinars, but the point is that you're, you're required to trade your time for money in order to fulfill what you're saying you're gonna fulfill for people. So if you want time and financial freedom, well, chances are that might not be the right model. Now, another model that people will typically look at is that they'll start an online business and they'll have a big revolutionary idea of some you know, clever piece of software that's gonna do something completely different or you know, crypto is like a big one at the moment. People have some big idea for like blockchain technology or something that they wanna implement and scale and so on and so forth. Now, the problem with that is that if, if you've never started a business before in your life, and you're going into that kind of level to build your own product, like software product or blockchain product or you know something cutting edge, well, you're, you're gonna have to be learning so many skills at once to even get that off the ground. And also, you know, you typically be looking at funding or something to even you know, start that process. So again, barrier to entry is really, really high comparatively to some other models out there. And the learning curve is incredibly steep. So for somebody like, you know, if you've never started a business before and that's the model that you're gonna start with, like that's, that's kind of like saying, hey, I've never um, actually run in my life before, but I think I'll just kick things off with a 100 mile ultra marathon. Um, that seems like a good way to do things. So my advice is don't do that. Like if you've got a great idea, fantastic that's really really good but there's other models that you can really get started with to learn some of the fundamentals of building a business but without so much pressure and so many things to learn at once um, brick and mortar businesses so a lot of people you know will decide hey i want to launch a business and they'll start a brick and mortar business um, so think like normal business you know high street or something like that um, if you're starting a brick and mortar business, typically quite capital intensive as well, uh, and typically you're gonna have to really invest a lot of effort and time at the front end to get things off the ground. 
You might need to build a team, which means overheads. You're probably gonna be pulling, you know, 80, 90 hour weeks for like the first year, maybe even two. May take till year three till you even start turning a profit. So when you compare brick and mortar business to online business and some of the options that are available, which I will run through right now, then it just doesn't really make sense in this day and age, in my opinion anyway. There's, a, there's much more efficient ways um, and, and powerful ways to do things. So two models that for, if you wanna create time, financial and geographical freedom, two models that I've come across in the last three years and worked with extensively in the last three years and built many businesses in in the last three years are affiliate marketing and e-commerce. Now, affiliate marketing and e-commerce are two models that enable you to not trade time for money. And that is crucial. If you're building a business and part of that business requires you to be trading your time, actually be in the business, exchanging your time in exchange for revenue, well, that's not really scalable. Because if you were to stop working, well, then the business stops, right? And so you can't then create a business and then go and, you know, explore the world, travel the world or something, or, you know, spend loads of time with your kids if you want to be there for your family. Because if you're not in your business, your business is going to fall apart. And affiliate marketing and e-commerce enable you to build companies where you're not trading time for money. So affiliate marketing, first of all, touch on this. Affiliate marketing is where you're, you're building a business that sells other people's products and services or other businesses' products and services. Now, if you were to launch your own product, you would have to deal with obviously the product itself. If it's physical, you're gonna to have to go through manufacturing and logistics. If it's a digital product, you're gonna to have to develop it and keep improving it, refine it. That's gonna take time. You're gonna to have to offer support. There's gonna be operational considerations. You're gonna need finance, legal, a lot of other departments in the business that you're gonna to have to build, which when you start out is typically gonna be yourself. So again, it's very time intensive. But what affiliate marketing enables you to do is let another business deal with all of that stuff. They create the product, they do the support, they do the sales, they do like, you know, all the stuff that's behind the scenes, the operations, the finance, the legal, et cetera, et cetera. And all you do through your affiliate company is you introduce potential customers to that business. And if the, per the person, the customer makes a purchase of that business's product, you receive a share of the revenue from that purchase. Okay, so you just deal with the front end part of the business process and you receive commission, you know, relative to the, um, uh, the, the, the fact that you've just done a part of the process. Okay, and then the company obviously gets a bunch of revenue for the back end stuff that they do. So you kind of like imagine you're partnering with a business and you're sharing responsibilities. Now, the single most important skill in business bar none is customer acquisition. Because without customer acquisition, in other words, marketing and then into sales, without customer acquisition, you do not have cash flow. And without cash flow, you do not have a business. So by using a model like affiliate marketing, you are learning the single most important skill in business, which is to start generating cash flow. If you get that right, then go and launch a big software idea because then you know how to actually acquire customers because you've been you've built businesses where they successfully acquired customers. If you can do that part, that's going to serve you a long way towards building your, you know, your big revolutionary idea afterwards. Okay? So that's kind of what I did. My first affiliate company that I launched, that provided cash flow which has been the backbone of absolutely everything that I've gone on, gone on to do since then. You know, including traveling the world, but most of the other businesses. It's easier to build a company when you've got cash just coming in without you having to trade your time in order to earn that cash. And affiliate marketing enables you to do that. So what you're doing is you're, you'll, uh, you'll find businesses in niches like health and fitness or online education or relationships and dating is a big one or you know golf, for example. You'll find businesses that sell products that you resonate with, that are great products. And then you'll, you can build a company, an affiliate company, where you're basically acquiring customers for that business and introducing them to those products. So in affiliate marketing, you are very simply finding, you are solving people's problems. You're finding people who have problems that you can solve and you are introducing them to businesses that can solve those problems. That's it. 
And it's so powerful if you learn the skills to build it, build an affiliate business properly because you can leverage automation, you can leverage digital marketing to automatically get messages in front of people that solve their problems at the right time. So for example, you're watching this video right now and in this video I'm going through you know, business models that can help you start online. And then as a result of that, you might get some ideas and there might be things that you need help with. And I go, hey, I actually had that same problem. Here's something that helped me. Maybe it will help you too. And you might decide, okay, I'll check it out. You know, seems like he, maybe he's a nice guy. Maybe he knows what he's talking about. You know, so if that's the case, you might check out that product. Now, I'm not physically shoot. At the moment you're watching this video, I could be off doing anything else, right? I'm not actually gonna be sitting here talking to you. You're watching a video that has been pre-recorded. And so that kind of concept is what you can start to leverage in affiliate businesses, right? Now, e-commerce, another business model which is really powerful is, is where you're selling physical products online, either through your own online store like Shopify or something like that, or through Amazon is a massive one. So Amazon, enables you to, to source products from manufacturers. Again, you don't even have to develop your own product. You can source product from manufacturers. You can then connect people who want that product or have, have a problem that that product will solve. You can sell that product through Amazon who will then fulfill that product. They'll send that product to the customer. And in exchange for that, you will receive revenue and then you pay a percentage of that revenue to the manufacturer who made the product in the first place, and you would keep the profit. Okay, so that would be a, a type of e-commerce called drop shipping, for example. So there, again, there's lots of different e-commerce business models, but the point is that you're building a business where you're connecting customers, product with customers, and you're doing it in such a way where you're not trading time for money. People might see adverts online of your products. So to highlight just how powerful this business model is, if you take Amazon and you look at Amazon's 2018 revenue, most of their online retail revenue came from third party sellers. So they did, and I'll get these numbers exactly right, they did a total 277 billion in gross merchandise volume in 2018. And of that, Amazon's first party sales amounted to 117 billion, and Amazon's third-party sales from third-party sellers, right, like you and me and other people, the revenue was, uh, uh, hold on, where was it, 160 billion, okay? So 160 billion was from third-party sellers, and 117 billion was from first-party sellers. And these third-party sellers, these small and medium-sized businesses, they bought in uh, or the, the number of businesses, the, the number of third party sellers that bought in over 100 grand of revenue through Amazon reached nearly 200,000 in 2018. And 25,000 of those small and medium businesses broke a million dollars in sales in 2018. And nearly three quarters of Amazon's third party seller businesses are between one and five employees. Right, so 200K did over 100 grand, 25K did over a million, and the vast majority of those businesses are between one and five employees. People just starting from their laptops at home. Okay, so this is, this highlights that so many people are building businesses around these models and how accessible it is, how easy it is comparatively to building a brick and mortar business or to launching your you know, innovative software idea or whatever. If you can learn the basics of business through affiliate marketing or e-commerce, that is gonna put you in incredible position to then start building other companies around your passions or around that great idea that you've had because you've actually got experience. You know, go back to that marathon example, you've actually run a couple of marathons before you go and try the 100 mile ultra marathon. So affiliate marketing and e-commerce, incredibly powerful. Now, that brings me on to um, talking about how when people start businesses or start building businesses with these two models, either affiliate or e-com, one of the biggest mistakes that they make is they try and go at it alone. So put it this way, if you were trying to figure out everything by yourself, is it gonna take you 
longer or are you going to do it quicker than if you had mentors and accountability groups and people who have already done it and can guide and direct you on what to do? It's going to take you longer, right? I mean, that's obvious. Obviously, if someone's already done it and they're showing you how to do it, it's going to be much quicker. Imagine learning to drive with no instructor sitting next to you versus learning to drive with an instructor sitting next to you. Which one's going to learn quicker? The instructor's going to help you, right? So with, if that's the case, if it's going to be much quicker to get mentors and accountability and guides and people who can actually help you navigate the challenges that you're going to face, let's imagine that with mentors and accountability, it took you one year to build a successful business compared to, let's say, I don't know, three years of just doing it alone by yourself. Now, if that was the case, if it's going to take you two years longer, hypothetically, to do it by yourself, what do you value two years of your time at? What's your current salary? Let's say you're doing 50K a year, right? Well, just based on your current salary, which let's be honest, if you're looking to build a business, you probably want to increase that. But even based on your current salary, two years of your time is worth 100K in salary. And so so many people go, oh, no, 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 I don't want to invest in training and mentors. I'm going to figure it out myself because I can save money that way. Well, that's kind of like saying, hey, I'm not going to buy an iPhone. I'm going to save money. I'm just going to build my own phone from scratch. That does not make sense, right? Buy the iPhone. The iPhone's already there. It's done for you. You know, so same kind of concept applies. If you want to build a business, like, yes, of course, you're going to have to do the work. Yes, of course, you're going to have to go through the change. You are responsible for the result that you create. You know, nobody can guarantee results for you. It's just like you, the gym can't guarantee that you're going to get six-pack abs. Only you can guarantee whether you're going to get six-pack abs. But the point is, is that if you've got resources, other people, mentors, training, education, like this whole environment around you that's going to enable you to achieve success, then obviously you're going to achieve the result in a lot less time, all other factors being the same. And so by not putting yourself into that environment, you're devaluing your time. Your time is the most important asset that you have. And by saying, hey, I'm going to save money and actually spend more time, what you're actually doing is you're saying, my time is not worth anything. Your time is worth everything. So if you're serious about creating some results in your life and you say, hey, I want to make money online. I want to build an online business. I want to start figuring out affiliate marketing. Let's say you pick that path. Right. But then you go, yeah, but I'm not going to invest in anything. I'm just going to stick to the training on Google and the training on YouTube and find free stuff online. It's going to take you a lot longer. So you've got a decision to make. What's your time worth? And how serious are you about this? Because if you are serious and you are going to succeed because you're not going to quit and you know you're not going to quit, then invest in things that are going to drive you towards that outcome quicker. Save your time and be willing to invest money. It's so valuable. Stop devaluing yourself. Stop devaluing your time. And so one of the biggest things that people do, can do to really kickstart their, their success is find themselves communities, find themselves accountability, find themselves other people who have built online businesses and learn from them. How did they do it? That's what I did. I got involved with a community and with an education platform that would teach me exactly how to do it. And I could follow their process and I could learn from them firsthand and I could dive on webinars with them and ask them questions. And it massively reduces the learning curve and massively increases your ability to create results. So three years further on from actually joining a community, from finding mentors, from going through education and launching my first business online, I've now got four companies. I've got one of them uh, is a web design agency that I created purely to get my brother out of a job that he hated. Another one, the first business I launched is an affiliate company that now is evolving into so much more, but it still forms the backbone of everything that I do. That's Scrap the 9 to 5. Got another business called Bamboo Bar, which is an e-commerce business, and we're developing eco-friendly deodorants that are designed to, so they're vegan-friendly, eco-friendly, non-plastic, non-harmful chemical, refillable, reusable, and, and they're designed really to, to stop the impact of um, traditional deodorants with harmful packaging and harmful chemicals and so on and so forth. And we've got our first prototype that should be coming to market hopefully very soon. We're going through the final stages of manufacturing. 
And then there's another business called Ignite Academy, which is taking groups of entrepreneurs or potential entrepreneurs, budding entrepreneurs with skills and bringing them together to collaborate and share skills to enable them to build things in their own businesses as well. So all of this came from the backbone of education and the backbone of everything I learned from my mentors when I first started. And I'm still heavily involved in that community, even today with the stuff that I'm launching. I went for dinner with one of my top mentors two and a half weeks ago. He's the co-founder of this education company. And he gave me a ton of new ideas and advice in one of the other businesses that I'm launching. Like just immersing yourself in this environment, it's it's so much more than just, oh, I can learn tactics and strategies. It's about you start to think like the people who are achieving the results that we want to achieve. You start rewiring the way your mind works, like your belief skyrockets when you surround yourself with people who are on the same path as you and are further ahead, for example. So if you want to get involved with them too, I'm just going to pop a link just below this video. But if you're serious, whether you do it through them or someone else doesn't matter. Whether you do it through my stuff, I don't mind. But all I would say is please just find some thing, some community, some group of people that you can get involved with and be a part of. Because without that, if you're doing it alone, you are devaluing your own time. Be willing to invest in yourself because by not investing, it's too expensive not to invest. Two years of your life is too much to use when you could be saving that time. Money's not important, your time is. So stop devaluing it. All right, so really hope that helps give some perspective. Pick your path, pick the route that you're gonna go down and then find a community of people who have already done that and then learn from them firsthand. And if you do just wanna join the same one that I did, because I'm a product of the product, I've been through them, I use them regularly still. They've helped me build four businesses. You know, proof is in the pudding. If you want to join them, they do a $29.95 application to see what it's all about for yourself. And they do a 30-day money-back guarantee. It literally couldn't be easier. So go check them out. Don't even take my word for it. Just make your own judgment call. See what you think. And if it's not for you, just cancel. Like, it's super easy. There's a button in your back office that says close account and it's automated. Okay, so check them out. I really hope that helps. And I hope this video helps, gives you some perspective about how to actually take those first steps. As I say, affiliate and e-commerce, if your goal is time and financial freedom, in my experience, are the best two models to get started with. All right, so thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed this video and you would want more like this, then click subscribe, which should be on the screen right now. Comment below if you've had insights or epiphanies or if you have other experiences, I'd really love to hear from you. Thank you very much for watching, really appreciate it, and I'll speak to you in another video. Bye for now.